Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Mankind today loves to be praised so much that if you don't praise them, they feel that you disrespect them. But the only praise I have to offer now is to Jesus Christ, my Savior. Because he said, Son, when you glorify me, I will grant you the desires of your heart. So all I've got to do is say, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ, your Lord. Glory to your name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm reading now from Isaiah 43. But now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have summoned you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you over. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the only one of Israel your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom. Cush and Seba is in your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I give men in exchange for you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. This walk of life sometimes can be so rough that sometimes one has to say within themselves, where is my direction? Where am I going? But as the Holy Prophet is saying here, God is saying, with me all things are possible. With Jesus Christ being your Savior, everything is possible. It is possible when you lay down at the altar of Jesus. Let me tell you something about my personal life. I want to share this testimony with you. When I was in the world, everything seems to be chaotic. That I try to achieve, that I try to do, even in my personal life with my family, it was a problem. You know why? Because God wanted to be a part of it. And I was saying, God, I want it to be this way. So he sit back and he said, okay, son, I won't leave you. I will be with you, but you do what you want. And when I came upon the stumbling block, when the bitterness, when the intimidation, when the manipulation, when the sorcery came upon me, and I met upon that stumbling block, God Almighty was there. He reached out his hand and he said to me, Sam, here I am, stretched for thine hand. And when the wounded hands of Jesus Christ met with mine, I was saved. And since I've given God my heart, I've seen a different direction. Because you have two elements in life, the element of good and the element of evil. The only way that mankind today can be redeemed of their sins is to accept Jesus as their Savior. As a great philosopher, teacher from the fivefold ministry said one night in church, her name is Louise Brock, she said, the only sin that mankind today has committed, it's called rejection. This means that Jesus Christ, who died on that cross to redeem mankind of their sin. Let me tell you something quickly. On that cross, Jesus Christ could have assigned many angels to destroy this earth. But in return, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they've done. The wrath of God was on mankind. God wanted to, to destroy this earth. But Jesus came and he bore the suffering and the pain and the sins for all of us. And the only sin today is rejection. Not accepting Jesus Christ as your savior. As the woman at the well, she went to receive the temporal water. But because faith she believed and she received the spiritual water, 
that is the Holy Spirit of God. So she went to her laughing, she went to her dancing, and she said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, because I'm new. Today, you need to taste this new wine. You need to taste the sweetness in Jesus. My God, hallelujah. I hope and I pray that my testimony will be a living example for those souls who have been lost. Because if you don't have Jesus in your life, you're a living dead. You are dead, dead, dead. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you for redemption, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You bore the pain and the suffering for us. You died on the cross for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God.